Does anyone know how to disable the DECT functionality on Gateway Max? Has used on the. We don't need it. No cordless phones. And we don't need Wi Fi. Measure the router with an magnetic meter and it reaches huge levels when you are right near the box. Probably nor the best health wise for long exposures, such as when talking on the phone for ages. The installation guy from Tesla didn't know what to do. He said he has tuned, turned off Wi-Fi and there are no Wi-Fi or deck lights. But clearly something is making that box spurt and huge amounts of EMR continuously. I also rang up Telstra Technical Support and they also don't know what to do. They said no other modern model is supported by them on the NBN, so they don't recommend replacing it. There are VDSL models with phone ports. Anyone else run into this? Yeah, I. Me too. I run into this, and this is six, already 2016. Hope somebody has answered you, Jamie. Deck phones operate, and honestly, no dangerous radiation is coming from it. Yeah, yeah, sure. If you're using only corded phones, you want to turn off deck. It is probably impossible. They have to lock their routers solidly. The problem is you cannot turn off the wipe section and still use phones, so you are double stuck. You don't want to walk around the house with a foil turban on. The answer is simple. Put a foil turban around the back. No, it doesn't help. This can be in the form of metal fly mesh box. This should be grounded. No. Wi-Fi or deck signal will escape it. However, your EMF field might still exist. Ethan, it also produces EMF, but this is a perfect thread. Huge increase. That's the same thing I tell. I just feel that if I can easily eliminate the email, then why not? But only when those levels are so large. The fellow who installed it in Max gave me a second one for free. In case I wanted to officially open it and try my luck at physical set and text functionality. Otherwise, since I'm not on contract. I could just switch from Telstra and company who won't give me a modem with DECT functionality. That's right, this is a modem with DECT functionality. If I put it on the Telstra gateway, I am getting readings that are like 50. A huge increase, that's right, because DECT uses 10 times the power of Wi-Fi. Freaking hell! And of course the net gear has so little EMR because it has Wi-Fi off and no DECT. Even on Telstra there is no need to use... You can use other brands. The DECT circuit in will be fully integrated. But you could tear out the antenna it uses. Good luck on that. Even on Telstra, there is no need to use the blah blah blah. You can use other brands through to have no debt. Indeed, unless someone is planning on using the bundled home line, yes, I know the op isn't, but other may. Indeed, that's actually the only reason we're using it on that line for the quarter phone. Otherwise, yes, if that line was being used for internet only for wide devices. I suspect I'll just end up switching providers. There's no contract in place in Telstra and sign up with whoever can supply a non decked router for home phone services. They'll probably be heaps cheaper than Telstra and maybe I can offload those two Telstra Gateway Max bricks onto eBay for my troubles. Anyone had any luck turning off the decked function on replacing this modem with a more suitable one? But turning on this modem for a few minutes, it starts blasting out the deck signal. I live in a completely wireless free house, and then that's all we can get now. If I do have to crack open the case, would it be better to cut the antenna or earth it with a big resistor or capacitor?
If I don't have to crack open the case, would it be better to cut the antenna or earth it with a big resistor or capacitor? The router will have an internal GNP plane, but it is not actually earthed, since the DC supply will have no ground connection. Small Faraday cage. Make it out of some nice bronze fly wire, for example. The Faraday cage should be connected to G and D. You could wrap the router in foil, but I suspect that would cook it. If you connect it all around the router neatly, it should pre prevent RF escaping, didn't it? it after another thing. I would simply bar the TP link and be done with it. And be done with it. If you want to go nearby approach, open the modem and locate the main supply bus into the web section. It will usually be very obvious. Cut the power to it. Huh. I do have some radar absorbing paint that I have used before to suck up the signal and then ground it. Works quite well, but would rather disable it entirely. Thanks for the help on the issue. Mm -hmm. That makes no sense. A four to five orders of magnitude increase in essentially the same box. People who are sensitive. We are sensitive in my own level. Oh, this is bullshit. Is the deck radio enabled even in bridge mode? If it's not, you can always just run it that way as a model and buy a better router with more configured options. Disable deck in the modern settings. Sh should be able to do the same on the gateway max. You can't on the TG7 minor back. Okay. After much phone calls and fuzzing around, it is established. You cannot disable deck signal. I mean, you cannot disable deck signal and maintain VoIP functionality. Telstra, the wholesaler to my provider, refused to provide VoIP login and account details, so that means you cannot use their VoIP service on an alternate modem. You must use a Telstra supplied modem. I have switched to TP link modem on a different web provider. The Telstra FTTN work fine on the alternate modem, just not Telstra. Wipe. Some years ago, knowledge the risk of EMF producing products causing biological damage real or perceived. I'm not surprised they don't want to cater to representatives that could be seen as mission of guilt. Freaking hell, this is unbelievable. You can't switch it off. Actually. 
I bought teachers and on eBay for a few dollars to see. The lockout on this is really good. Doesn't accept inputs from serial console at all. Technical then is as easy to see as can be. It is a simple piece of tin steel wire. You can cut or unsold it. Oh God, it's easy. You could even wrap foil around the front edge from the wireless button on the front to the rows of holes on the right side without blocking the antenna too badly at all. Huh. What a nice guy. Freaking hell. We are in trouble. We are in trouble. This stupid modem can't be switched.